ha quedado, ha quedado, ha quedado un poquito. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey, hey, how are you? Are you fine. Yeah, Very fine. Fine, thank you. Awesome. I'm okay. I'm ready for today. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, I will pass the tennis. Thank you for being here, guys. Uh, this is for class number 10. Uh, right. Please, as soon as you listen to your names, help me, right? Stay present or here I am, please. Uh, Alba? Aleli? Excellent, thank you. It's, it's nice, you know, it's nice to have you in class. Okay. Ali. Present teacher. Ana Dinora. Ana Stephanie. Present. Cesar. Present teacher. Okay. Elvis. Present teacher. Emerson. Present teacher. Thanks, Gabriela. Harrison. Glenda? Present teacher. Jocelyn? Jose? Jose? I'm feeling good. Thank you. That, that's awesome. Karen? Present. Good Kenya. Present teacher. Thanks, Lisbeth. Present. Marco. Present. Nancy. Present, teacher. Oscar. Present. Yeah, Ovidio. Ovidio. Sandra. Present, teacher. Okay. Sonia. Present, teacher. Okay. Wilson? Wilson? Here, yes. And Jenny? Present teacher. Jenny? Well, Present. good. Thank you. Ready for, ready for today. Uh, let me see. Que más se unido ahorita, no lo agregué. Repito los que no los he agregado. Adinora, Gabriela, Gerson, Jocelyn, José, Ovidio, and Wilson. Okay, I can see Gerson. Gerson is joining. Hey, Gerson. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. Very good. I can see Harrison too. Good evening, Harrison. I can see Jose. Hello, guys. Sorry, teacher. Pensé que había dicho Harrison. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Excelente, no se preocupe. Harrison. Present, teacher. Thank you. Se is joining. Creo que está todavía ingresando. Acá lo veo. Ok, well, let's start. Bueno, primero, saber si hay alguna duda, algún comentario, etc. O vamos con la plataforma. Comenta todo bien. ¿Cómo vamos? Hola, José. ¿Qué bien? ¿Preguntas, dudas? ¿No? ¿Vamos bien? Hemos iniciado, hemos avanzado. No escucho nada. Sí, yo, yo ahorita ya tengo ya avanzado prácticamente la, 
la cuarta parte. Eh, hello, Wilson. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Thank you. How are you, Wilson? I'm fine, teacher. And you? Perfect. I'm pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Thank you. Good, good. Okay. Well, let's start. Bueno, solo un par de cositas. Seguir trabajando, ¿verdad? Si hemos iniciado la, la sección 4, perdón. Sigamos, sigamos. Esta semana debemos completar hasta ahí, hasta ahí ¿verdad? Sección 4. Y si hemos avanzado, simplemente vamos con la sección 5. Vamos, hay que seguir. ¿okay? Pueden seguir avanzando. Los que ya terminamos, pues perfecto. Estamos ahí a la espera y, claro, reforzando cada dos temas. Cada dos temas. Más. Bueno, vamos ya prácticamente, ¿verdad? Casi a mitad de la, de la semana, ¿verdad? Semana 3. Semana 3. Este jueves terminamos la semana 3. Y ya nos quedaremos con la última semana. O sea, es que hay que ir completando. Es la invitación para todos. Eh, la plataforma, la sección 4 específicamente. Eh, estamos actualizando, ¿verdad? Control de notas y asistencia para que todo se orden. Así es que hoy por la noche yo actualizo el control de notas nuevamente y pues invitarles, en caso nos hemos atrasado, eh, poder seguir. Por eso, bueno, de hecho, quiero dar una chequeadita ahorita, rapidito, a ver cómo vamos con el grupo. Y en un momento iniciamos la clase. Veamos. Excelente. Veo que hemos avanzado bastante. Algunos que no me han iniciado con la sección 4. Espero que lo puedan hacer esa, ese día, ¿verdad? Esta noche, otra noche, mañana y pasado. Recuerden que completar esa, esa sección. Perdón. Pero en ese momento veo que sí todos hemos llegado a la sección 3. Eso es bueno. Fue la semana pasada. Eh, pero sí invitarles a los que no hemos llegado a la sección, no hemos iniciado la sección 4, perdón, lo hagamos, vamos lo antes posible. Estamos bien. Bueno, vamos a seguir, si, si hay preguntas, dudas en general acerca del módulo, de la plataforma, etc. ¿No? Estamos bien. Preguntas, dudas. No. no. Excelente. Háganme saber porque decir no, no sé. Pienso que tal vez hay alguna duda. No escucha nadie. No. Estamos serios ahora. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, let's start. The topic for today is some and any count and non count nouns. Class number 10. Today is Tuesday, March 14th. I don't know why I say 14th. Sorry, 29th. 29th. Okay. Uh, let me introduce the vocabulary, right? But first, I want to show this. This is in your manuals. Uh, we have some in it, right? We have seen this in the previous classes. Some, any, right? These ones are expressions of quantity, or we can say quantifiers. It is like quantifiers or expressions of quantity. It's the mean one. Quantity or quantity. 
So in any, as we saw with the, in the previous classes, right, when we saw there is an R, so in any mean the same, right? They mean the same. In, you know, they mean like, I'll say, when you express things, right, objects, etc. You tend to say, right, uh, you know, from three to let's say 10 things, for example. So that is the meaning, right? Some, for example, you say, I have some books, right? I say some books because, uh, you know, I, I, I want to use a, a, a quantifier, right? I don't want to be specific. So maybe I'm saying that I have, for example, five books, five books. That is the explanation in parentheses. Select on application for that. I have some books, or I have five books. Some, you know, means like five books, for example. I have five books. I have some books. Right? You can say, um, my brother has some, let's say, some comics. Some, sorry? Some comics. Comics, okay? Well, comic books, let's say. Yeah. Comic books. Yeah, very good. That is the way. So maybe my, my brother has, right, seven, right? Seven comic books. So we use the quantifier sum. Sum. Okay? Sum, as we said in the previous classes, sum is used uh, with affirmative. Affirmative form. Uh, we use any, we use any, or do you remember? Negative in questions. Right? Let's have some para primativo and any for negative questions. Okay? And I can say, right, again, I have some uh, apples, some apples. I have some apples. Some is an affirmative, right? I mean, we use it in affirmative. But if you say, for example, or well, let's say that I see some apples, maybe six apples, right? Six apples. If I say uh, I don't have, I don't have any apples. So I'm saying that no apples, right? No apples. I don't have any apples. Any is for negative. Negative. But if I say, or if I ask a question, right? Yes, you have any apples. So here I'm asking for a quantity. Quantity. Do you have any, any apples? Any? is used for negative questions. Negative questions. Okay. That is okay. I have some apples. I don't have any apples. Did you have any apples? Right. That's the way. Here we have some examples, right? Do we need any eggs? Any. And I say, yes, let's get some. You can say like that, right? Let's get some. Or you can say, let's get some X. That's why X is in brackets, right? In brackets. Por eso la palabra X is in parentheses, porque lo podemos omitir. You can say, yes, let's get some. Yes, let's get some. Or, yes, let's get some X. Or you can say, if your answer is no, you say, no, we don't need any X. Or, we don't need any, just like this, right? So the two options are possible, right? Ambas opciones, ambas respuestas son válidas. Si omitimos the noun, right? Now, si omitimos el sustantivo. Why? Because, you know, it is mentioned, right? It is mentioned in the question, right? You can omit it. You can omit it. So we know what we're talking about. 
again. We have another example, right? Like, do we need any bread? Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some, or let's get some bread. Or no, we don't need any, or we don't need any bread, okay? Some and any, some and any. You can use them right for countable and uncountable nouns. Yeah. Questions over here? Preguntas acá? I have one question. Yeah, tell me. Eh, solamente, teacher, ¿cómo sería en español este, la primera respuesta de, de do we need any eggs? Any egg? Yes, let's, let's get some egg. ¿Cómo sería oh. en español esa respuesta? Sí. Eh, compremos algunos huevos. O obtengamos. O sí, obtengamos. vamos. O sea, o sí, algo así. Sí, obtengamos. Estoy, o sea, estoy un poco confundido con esa respuesta. Por eso, por eso, el, por eso no se, no se enfoque mucho en la, en la traducción. Porque eso, okay. eso le afecta bastante. Mejor trate la manera de comprender ese, ese, esa idea, por favor. ¿Cómo es la respuesta correcta? correcta. Esa idea. ¿Cómo es la Exacto. respuesta de un solo? Exacto. Okay. Eh, esa es mi, mi recomendación, ¿verdad? Que se vayan acostumbrando poco a poco, claro. Pero no traduzcan. No hagan traducciones tanto. Eso nos confunde. Bueno, estoy pensando en, eh, en esa idea. ¿Cómo es la forma la que ves en español? Voy pensando eso, pensando, pensando. Y se me hace bien difícil. Mm -hmm. Esa es mi recomendación. No hagamos tra muchas traducciones porque no, no es bueno, ¿verdad? Estoy todo el tiempo. Mejor enfoquémonos, ¿verdad? Okay. Do we need any eggs? Imaginemos en la casa, ¿verdad? Do we need any eggs? Yes. Let's get some. Let's get some. So you go to the supermarket, you go to Super Selectos, you go to the store, right? In your neighborhood, etc. Right? Let's get some. I will buy some, right? Some eggs. Right? Uh, yes. Yeah. I'll leave. Un uh, teacher y la respuesta negativa sería no, no necesitamos. Exactly, exactly. No, we don't need any. Como okay. se lo dijo, no necesitamos. Yes. Tanta palabra en inglés para decir no necesitamos. <laughs> yeah, that is the way. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. Eh, Sandra. Eh, al parecer, let es un auxiliar. ¿En qué momentos utilizamos let? Well, it, it's, a, it's a verb. Actually, it's a verb. Yeah, eh, let Lex help us to, to, sorry, Lex is used to express a suggestion. A suggestion. Guys, let's go to the party. Let's go to the movies. Let's watch a movie. Let's travel to New York or, I don't know, to Spain. So we express oh, the gesture. Podría ser let's go? Let's go, exactly. Let's go. So that is the way, let's, let's get some. Let's get some. Okay. Does it make sense, Sandra? Pregunta, Sandra? No, está bien. Gracias. Yes. For example, on vacation, right? We, we, we're almost on vacation. So maybe your family can tell you, right? Hey, let's go to the beach. Let's go. To the beach. This is a suggestion, right? Suggestion. We use legs. Leg followed by the verb. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, yeah, let's go. go. Y en sí la de get, ¿qué significa? Es como o, eh, comprar, por ejemplo, obtener. Eso estaría. 
no sé qué, sería, sí, vamos por algunos. Y entonces la respuesta de la pregunta anterior, vamos por algunos huevos. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some. Vamos por, vamos por, por uno, ¿verdad? vamos por algunos huevos. Para eso voy. Okay. Good? ¿Estamos bien? Let's go to the beach. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, let's go. We need it, we need it. Okay. Um, continue. Let's go with, you know, we have the, the, these articles, right? A and M. Right? And these are expressions of quantity too, right? So, también son expresiones de cantidad. Similar to some and any, right? Similar to some and any. Some and any. Some and any. A or N. These ones are expressions of quantity too. And these ones are used for singular nouns. Only for singular nouns. Uh, you can say, right, I have a dog. Uh, there is an apple on the table, right? So here we're expressing singular nouns, one thing, only one thing. Singular, let me specify singular countable nouns. Singular countable nouns. I have a dog, only one. There is an apple on the table, only one. Uh, I can say there is a there is a laptop on the desk. Only one. Only one. There is a laptop on the desk. One. We use A or N, right? A or N. With singular countable nouns. Okay. We will talk about countable and uncountable nouns, right? Countable and uncountable nouns. Or we can say uh, count and no count nouns, right? Count and no count nouns. It's the same, the same thing, right? You can say an egg, one, right? An egg. Or you can say eggs. That is plural, right? That is plural. An egg, singular, one. I can say X, right? that's a plural noun. I can say five eggs, then X, right, etc. A sandwich, sandwich is singular, one, right, only one. And I can say sandwiches, that is a plural noun. I can say three sandwiches, five sandwiches, two sandwiches, etc. right? Those are countable nouns. When do we use countable nouns? We use countable nouns to express things that we can count. Right? For example, apples, the apple, computer, pencil, book. Class, etc. Those are countable nouns. Because I can say, right, one apple, two apples, three apples, four apples, five apples. I can count, right, with my fingers. Puedo contar, puedo contar esos sustantivos, right? An apple, two apples, three apples. I can say one book, books, three books, five books. Right? Those are countable nouns. Questions, Emerson? Questions, guys? ¿Todo bien hasta acá? Eh, yo tengo una pregunta, Ticho. Ya. Yeah. Eh, ¿Hay alguna regla para eso? Cuando empieza un ejemplo, lo que yo estoy viendo que como que hay una regla, o hay alguna regla con el usar el A y el AN. Ah, oh, ok. Yeah, that's what I explained in the previous class, right? Porque estoy explicando la clase pasada. A. 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 You can say A or A. It's okay. A or A. A 
you know, when you have the, the article A, it's because, you know, you have a, a consonant sound, right? Consonant sound. Con consonant, okay. Yes. In N, this one is for a vowel sound. Convocar. Exactly. Vowel so we sound. focus we focus on sounds. Como lo expliqué en la clase pasada, ¿verdad? Nos enfocamos en, en sonidos para identificar con utilizar A or M. No nos, okay. enfocamos, eh, no nos enfocamos en cómo inicia la, la, la palabra, ¿verdad? Exactamente, porque a veces los sonidos cambian. Por ejemplo, eh, you say a book, right? You say a computer, right? Because this, this nouns begin with a consonant sound. Book, computer. Claro, los, los sustantivos empiezan con consonante. Sí, pero el sonido es el que importa acá. A book, a computer. What about if we say a university? Yes, university starts with you, with a vowel. Ese sustantivo inicia con una vocal, claro. But the sound is different. University, university. As I said in the, in the previous class, right? It's like you say this, right? You, university. It's como la pronunciación, you, university. It's, it's a consonant sound. It's a sonido de, de consonante. That's why we say a university. No, we don't say a university. No. It's the okay. same with an. It's the same with an. We say an apple, we say an orange. Uh, we say an umbrella, umbrella, and we say, listen, an honor, an honor. Apple, yeah. It starts with a vowel, sí. Inicia con una vocal, claro que sí, pero el sonido, an apple, apple, apple. An orange, 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 an orange, an umbrella. An umbrella, 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 an umbrella, an honor, an honor, honor. So the, the H is silent in this case. La H, como lo decimos en español, es muda acá. An honor, an honor. That's why you use an. But if you say, listen, if you say a house, it's different. A house is, we use A. Es diferente, house. House, house. La pronunciación viene siendo así, ¿verdad? No exactamente así, ¿verdad? Pero sí, house, house, house. Listen, it's a consonant sound. It's a consonant sound. En ese caso, la H no es puda. House, house. Okay? That is the way you identify the, the, the articles, A and M. Okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, countable nouns. And we have the, the contrast, right? And countable nouns, uh, we use countable nouns uh, to express things that we cannot count, right? So it's the opposite. For example, we have money, uh, traffic, pizza, water, milk, sorry? Water. Water, yeah, water. Yeah. Yeah, sugar, right? Time, for example. Sun. Sorry? Sun. Repeat again, sorry? Repito nuevamente, perdón. Sal. Oh, salt. 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 <laughs> Repito para mí, salt. 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 Yeah. Well, as I explained right in the previous classes, we cannot count pizza, right? We cannot say one pizza, two pizza, three pizza. However, you know, people say it in English, right? When they are speaking, when they're having a conversation. Lo que explicaba en la clase pasada, ¿verdad? Eh, lo expliqué cuando vimos the reason they are, right? Y acá lo explico nuevamente. Pizza es un sustantivo no contable. 
no podemos decir una pizza, dos pizzas, tres pizzas. ¿verdad? Sin embargo, eh, lo decimos ¿verdad? en español, incluso en inglés. Vamos a escuchar a alguien que diga, eh, I, wanna, I want to pick us. Está bien. But that is the way you speak, right? You speak. Your eh, léxico. Léxico. Um, but grammatically is incorrect. Right? Grammaticalmente sí es incorrecto. And why is important? Because when you write, write academic text. Es importante porque cuando escribimos textos académicos, ¿verdad? Y si requiere una gramática muy buena, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que evitar eh, esos, esa forma, ¿verdad? Porque ese es no contable. You can say, a slice, a pizza, right? It's different. Oh, this one is contable. Slice of pizza. Pizza is un contable. Contable. A slice of pizza, right? Do you know what is a slice of pizza? Sabemos que es una slice of pizza. Sería una porción, una porción de pizza. Exactly, exactly. It's, it's a slice of pizza. So that one is countable because you can say, give me one slice of pizza. Give me five slices of pizza. It's different, right? I slices of pizza. Okay, now it's contable. The same with water. Right? We can say a water to water. No, water is uncountable. Pasa lo mismo, ¿verdad? En español. Se tiende a decir, ¿verdad? Personas, algunas personas dicen agua, dos aguas, tres aguas, ¿verdad? Es nuestro léxico, repito. But grammatically it's incorrect. So you have to say a bottle of water, right? Bottle of water. A glass of water. Glass of water. Okay. So now this uh, nouns are countable. Countable. This one is uncountable. Right? But these nouns you can say, you can say some pizza, right? Some pizza, you can say some water. Some water. So in this case, we can use some, some water, pizza, etc. Some money. Okay. So this is a way. Countable and uncountable nouns. Let me give you some examples. Do we have some countable and uncountable nouns? Right. Countables and uncountable nouns. Countable and uncountable. Listen, I, I, I would like you to listen to the vocabulary first, please. Okay, countables. Bon. Bon. Sandwich. Sandwich. Bon. Bon. Sandwich. Sandwich. Apple. Orange. Burger. Rice. Eggs. Salad. Vegetables, vegetables, cookies, cookies, potatoes, potatoes, tomato, tomato, carrot, carrot, hot dog, hot dog, candies, candies, olives, olives. Peanuts, peanuts, pancakes, pancakes, onion, onion, watermelon, watermelon, pea, pea, grapes, and cherries, cherries. Okay. That is the way. Countable nouns. Countable nouns. Good. Any questions? Any questions? 
olives son aceituna, verdad, teacher? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Let's go with uncountables. Uncountables, listen. Bread. Bread. Fruit. Fruit. Juice. Meat. Rice. Cereal. Cereal. Jam. Jam. Milk. Milk. Coffee. Coffee. Sugar. Sugar. Flour. Flour. Oil. Oil. Salt. Salt. Stew. Stew. Tea. Tea. Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese. Pasta. Pasta. Honey. Honey. Water. Water. Cheese. Cheese. Butter. Butter. Seafood. Seafood. And mustard. Mustard. Okay. So these are uncountable nouns. Questions? What the main jam? Sorry? Jam. Oh, okay. Um, jam is, let me see. Is, is it? Jalea. Yeah. Jalea, jalea. No, no lo quería decir así en solo, pero está bien, eso es. <ríe> eso es. Ya. Lo quería explicar con un ejemplo en inglés. <ríe> Por eso me adelantaron. So... Ok. It's ok, it's ok. No worries, no worries. ¿Somebody else questions? ¿Por qué no podemos contar el pan? Oh, okay. Um, it's because we say right. If you want to to ask for for bread, you can count it, right? You can say a, a piece of bread, piece of bread. In that case, it's countable. Piece of bread. Una porción de pan, por ejemplo. Una porción de pan. Um, bueno, algo que siempre menciono es que los sustantivos eh, pueden ser utilizados pero en algunos casos para contable y no contable es decir eh, como les mencionaba hace un momento ¿verdad? cuando tenemos conversaciones por ejemplo muchas personas utilizan eh, por ejemplo pixel utilizan como pixels ¿verdad? una pixel dos pixels tres pixels eh, está bien está bien ¿verdad? cada quien se consume verdad su léxico eh, pero eh, Hablando de grammar, ¿verdad? Gramática, pues sería incontable. Contable porque no podemos contar el pan. Es decir, aunque en español utilizamos, ¿verdad? Un pan, dos panes, tres panes. Claro. But it's incorrect, grammatically, según la regla. Grammatically. Grammatically is. That's why we say bread is uncountable. It's uncountable. You can say some bread. Some bread. Y che, si dan cinco por la cobra, son contables. Ya. <risa> yeah. Qué chingo cinco por la cobra. Sí. Bueno, pues, la... O sea que en la regla ya está establecido que no se puede contar. Yes, yes, exactly. Hay algunas excepciones, hay algunas excepciones, ¿verdad? Um, for example, with pizzas, right? With pizzas, pizza, sorry, you can say, uh, for example, um, I have pizza for dinner, right? So in this case, I'm referring to uh, the food, right? Food, uh, what I have for dinner, for example. So I said pizza. But in some cases, you will see like some people say, right, I have, uh, oh, I bought, right? I buy. I buy frozen pizzas. 
then that can in that case it can be correct, right? We have like a kind of complement, right? Assistance. That's the case of what is valid, frozen pieces. But in general, you know, pixels are countable. In general, pixels are not countable. Teacher, eso le iba a decir, pero cuando decimos I, I buy the process on the pizzas, es bien generalizado porque no se sabe cuánta es la cantidad. Exactly. exactly. That is the way. So, you know, what you have to do is to, to practice, right? practice a lot. Okay? Quantum point and quantum point now. This is, for example, a list of quantum and quantum now. So we have a list, right? Both. O sea, teacher, que cuando se pide una pizza en Estados Unidos, ¿cómo se diría? Well, to, uh, to be honest, uh, people tend to order like, uh, I, I want to order a pizza. A pizza, they say like that. Yes. Eh, recuerden que en cada país es, es, es igual que, no, que nosotros, pero probablemente ellos es, ¿verdad? utilicen más, más técnico el vocabulario. Eh, pero tiende a ser para algo similar, para eso así. En su caso, ahora decimos así, quiero una pizza, quiero ordenar una pizza, dos pizzas. Decimos. Eh, as I said, in the United States, people tend to say that, right? I, I want to order a pizza. Pizza. Uh, no es por, por confundirlo, ¿verdad? Pero, repito, por lo general, es más que todo cuando... Alguien, ¿verdad? Habla. Pero en que la, las personas se consumen, ¿verdad? Cada, cada uno a su léxico. Eh, son las que posiblemente, ¿verdad? Utilizan diferentes palabras, etc. Entonces, tiende a variar. Pero en muchos de los casos, we say, we can listen to someone that say, right, I want a pizza. I want a pizza. Así lo vamos, así lo vamos a escuchar. I want a pizza. Yes. Pero recuerden, ¿verdad? Que si es una dramática, pues, es incansable. ¿Ok? Es bien, es bien difícil, ¿verdad? Claro que, que nos acostumbramos a decir, por ejemplo, eh, quiero una ¿verdad? Eh, porción de pizza. ¿verdad? Quiero una porción de pan. Es bien difícil, ¿verdad? Porque ya estamos acostumbrados. Okay. Questions? No question. It's okay. Okay. Todo claro. Okay. I want to give you some ideas, right? With A and some and any. A and M are for singular contable nouns, right? Quantum nouns. We can say a car, we can say an apple, an apple. But we cannot use, right, uh, this specific forms in, in plural, right? In plural, we say a car, an apple. This is one, right? One. But if you say, uh, for example, countable uh, or uncountable pronouns, you can say some cars, right? Some cars. So I'm saying what? Let's say five cars. My cars, right? Some milk. Some milk. The same, right? This is uncountable. Milk. I say some milk. I don't say some milks. No, I say some milk. Some milk. Okay. Any. So any rise for, for negative questions. So I say any cars, any milk. Right. That is why. And here we have some examples, right? Uh, with some or any. Some is for affirmative. And I can say, I have some questions for you. I have some questions for you. Some, affirmative. Uh, we use any for negative in questions. I can say, is there any sugar in the jar? Is there any sugar in the jar? Yes, there is, no, there isn't, right? Or we don't have any problems. We don't have any problems. We can say, right, we don't have any problems with the topic, right? 
some and any. Listen, one more. This is extra information. Look, note, use some in questions when you offer or ask for something. We can use some with questions too. In some cases, right? Vamos a utilizar some para preguntas. In algunos casos. Let me give you some examples. For example, if you say, you like some coffee? This one is an offer. It's an offer. So in this case, you can say some. You can use some instead of any, right? Any. This is an offer. Estamos ofreciendo algo. En su caso, se puede utilizar some. En preguntas. Offer. Offer. Or if you ask for something. O posiblemente, ¿verdad? Pedimos algo. For example, you can say, right? Um, can I, what? Can I have some tea, for example? Can I have some tea? So you're asking for something, right? You ask for something. Acá se pide algo. Se pide algo. Can I have some tea? Okay. Some tea. Do you some? Some. In esos casos, aplica utilizar some in, in affirmative. So in questions. In questions. Okay. Do you have any questions? Preguntas hasta acá? ¿Todo bien hasta acá? Quiero saber si hay dudas. Por mi parte, no, todo bien. Oh, okay. No, no, yo tengo una. Dame. Ay, disculpe que sea el único que no, pregunta. No. Ask me, ask pero, me, no worries. Pero quiero, sal quiero salir de dudas sobre el son. El son es como decir algún o algunos. Yes, yes. Eso es lo que no entendía porque no. Ahí le yeah. pero no entendía eso. Algún, por ejemplo, tú quieres algún café o algún té, algo yeah. así. Yes. Es algún o algunos. Algún o algunos. Sería incontable. Exacto. Ok, Exactly. Si sí, eso no, no entendía lo incontable con lo contable, eso es lo que no, no entendía. Pero That's sí. Why. Very good, sí. thank you. Thank you for asking, no worries. Ok, gracias. It's a pleasure. All right, so we have some examples over here with affirmative. I have some coffee. I have some coffee. Some. There is a computer. A, right? One. It's a computer on the table, the desk. And we have, as you can see, a countable noun. This is uncountable, right? Uncountable. So I use some. Some, okay? Um, my sister has uh, some books. This is in, 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 in affirmative, right? In negative, I can say, for example, I don't have any money. Any money. Uh, I can say there isn't um, isn't um what let's say there isn't a refrigerator in the kitchen and my mother doesn't have some I would, I would say a right it doesn't have a, a dog Okay, any negative, right? A, that equal A, A again, right? That's the way. It is a question you said, right? Do you have it? any questions, guys? Do you have any questions? Say yes, I do. No, I don't, right? Yes, I do. Not. Um, you can say, right? Is there any? Soda in the fridge. 
And the last one will say, would you like some, say, some bread? Or say some, some chicken? Would you like some chicken? I'm using some because this is an offer, right? This is an offer. Okay, so listen to some because I'm using algo. Any? Any. This is a question, right? These are questions. These are questions. Okay. This is the way we, you know, construct the ideas with some, any, a, countable, and a countable nouns. Have any questions? Y en la pregunta, en the question, en la última, would you like? Would you like kitchen? Y se puede hacer sin el some. Would you like kitchen? Chicken. Yeah, you can say, would you like chicken? Sin preguntar. Porque siento que, siento que ahí el son como, como oferta es como para algún pollo, para clase. No sé si estoy mal. I'm sorry. Tal vez. Como para ofrecer para alguna clase de pollo, diferentes tipos de pollo. Oh. Mm. Igual forma como, como con el café o algún, algún tipo de café. Y not exactly, not exactly Emerson, because when you say would you like some coffee, as you know, your class said before, it's like algún café, por ejemplo. Uh, would you like some chicken? Teacher, lo que yo creo que Emerson quiere decir que podría ser well, well, you like fried chicken? O oh. well, you like some uh -huh. well, well, you like some sí. fried chicken? <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. sub chicken, no sé. Yeah, you, 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 chicken. Es, que, es que yo tengo el mismo problema que Josué. Yo trato de buscar sentido a la, a la traducción y eso me cuesta un poco. Sí. Eh, when I say some chicken, right? We like some chicken. Eh, it's because we have the complete, right? The complete chicken, right? This one, right? Chicken. We have this. Oh, this one, this one. Okay, we have the complete chicken. O sea, que habla del pollo en eh, pollo total, sino que en las piezas de pollo. Yeah. Would you like some chicken? Yes, I would like uh, a piece of chicken, right? Okay. Would you like some chicken? I have the complete chicken, right? This is it. Chicken. Would you like some chicken? Yeah, I would like a piece of chicken. Okay. Okay. Let's wait. Does it make sense? That's right. Get it clear? Sí. Eh, ¿Alguien más? Preguntas? Dudas? ¿Todo bien? Then, yes, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's practice. Let's practice with the following exercises. What I want to do, I need you to write, look at this, the exercises given, right? And I need you to complete the sentences using some and, and well, some, any, a, and an. And of course, you have to take into account count and no count nouns. Vamos a tomar en cuenta eso, the countable and countable nouns. Some, any, a, and am. Right, you need to complete the sentences. Right, a, and some, or any. Okay, so here we have 12 exercises. 12 exercises. Let me help you with the first two, and then you continue with the other ones. Your numbers. Okay, let's complete the first two, and then we'll complete the second one. Okay, number one. It says, look. There is elephant and tiny mouse in the cage. What is the answer? 
There is a an 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 elephant. Yes, and a an summer any a a tiny mouse in the cage. Okay, is that the answers? An and a very good. Nine. Number two. There aren't penguins in the zoo, but there are monkeys. Any. There aren't any, any. penguins in the zoo. But there are there are sorry. Some. 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 Some monkeys. Exactly. Very good. Some monkeys. That is the way. That is the way. Okay. Any and some. That's what you have to do, okay? And you, I, I will ask you to complete these, the other ones, until 12, your notebooks. Let's start. Vamos a completar el cuaderno. Vamos a ver más. If you have some questions, please let me know. Let's go. Si hay preguntas, hagamos, please. Hagamos preguntas. Eh, eh. Eh, me escucha?
Okay. Well, guys, listen, because of the time, yeah, it's time. I will ask you to complete the exercises, please. Let them practice with A and some and any, and of course, countable and countable nouns. Complete the sentences, and I will ask you to send your responses through the WhatsApp group, okay? We're going to be, you know, discussing together okay, over there. And if you have some questions, right, of course, let me know. Let me know, and I'm going to you know, give you a hand. Please. Eh, vamos a completar los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Vamos a seguir. Hemos finalizado por el tiempo, ¿verdad? Se nos ha agotado. Vamos a sacarnos hacia acá. Pero, claro, quiero que sigan los ejercicios practicando. Y vamos a compartir nuestras respuestas por WhatsApp. Por WhatsApp. Yes. Can you, can, you share, can you share to WhatsApp? Sure, sure. I will do it. I will do it. la imagen, teacher. Claro, yo se la comparto, yo se la comparto. No se preocupe. Okay. O, perdón, César, no, no sé si le, le escuché bien, no sé si la comparto, sé o la va a compartir. Share screen. No, es que si la va a compartir usted. Ah, ok, sabe. Yeah, I will, I will. Perdón, no, no le había escuchado bien. Yo la comparto, sí, no se preocupe. Eh, bueno, perdón. Eh, Sí, yo la comparto y por favor sigamos trabajando. Vamos practicando, si hay preguntas, hagamos. And you have to send the responses right through WhatsApp. Ok. Eh, well, any questions before to go? Preguntas. ¿Se la compartimos ahora o mañana? Eh, pueden ahora o mañana, no se preocupen. Por si tienen que hacer algo más o posiblemente ahora tienen que trabajar mañana, hay que descansar, no se preocupen. Gracias. It's a pleasure. Well, guys, uh, we're going to start right here because it's time. Thank you so much for your time and, you know, participation. I will see you tomorrow at nine, right? Have a nice night and, you know, take care. Blessings to your families. Bye bye. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you Good tomorrow. Night. Bye. bye. Thank you. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, guys. Thank you for everything. Goodbye. All right.